Hey everyone, my name is Errol and this is just a short video to show you how to set up Ventrilo and ducking on Windows 7. Ducking is a technique used by DJs and radio show hosts in order to reduce the volume of the music that's playing when they are talking over the microphone. When used in conjunction with Ventrilo and gaming, it provides a very large advantage of being able to play game volume uh, or music at uh, a higher volume and be aware of what's happening to in Ventrilo at the same time. When a, an event happens in Ventrilo, such as a user talking to you, um, or alternatively someone joining or leaving a channel, your game's volume and indeed all the other sounds happening on your computer will be reduced by a certain percentage, and then the Ventrilo sounds will actually not be. So first things first, you need to make sure that you are running Windows 7. This feature is not available on Windows Vista and you also need to be make sure that you're running the latest version of Ventrilo. At the time of this recording that version is 3.0.7 so open your Ventrilo, close that, and click the About button. Uh, this is just to double check that you are in fact running 3.0.7 or later um, so as long as this version number is that or higher you're good to go. So, close the About box and then open the Setup box and make sure you're using Push to Talk mode. If you're using voice activation, the Ventrilo client will become confused and uh, so actually vin voice activation does not allow you to do ducking. So if you're in a situation where you can't use Push to Talk mode for some reason, then you will not be able to do ducking. So once you have your Push to Talk mode enabled, click this button that says Ducking and check this first box that says transmitting and enables ducking. You need to have this box enabled, it will enable the other three check boxes. Uh, this just enables ducking of your system volume when you are transmitting. This is really useful uh, to prevent crosstalk between your microphone and uh, your system volume. It's mandatory if you want to do ducking for anything else, so you have to check the box. The other three options are totally optional. Receiving voice stream means that uh, another user is talking to you, so if uh, someone's talking to you in channel or in private binds, uh, Ventrilo will reduce the uh, other volume in your system. Text-to-speech is text-to-speech events, so anything you have set up in the events tab that uh, is read to you is a text-to-speech event, uh, such as a user joining or leaving a channel, or alternatively if you are in the Ventrilo chat and you have the client set to read the messages to you through text-to-speech, it will also affect that as well. And WAV files are uh, things like sound the sound effects that play when users join or leave a channel. So if you use a combination of text-to-speech events and WAV file events, then you should have both the options checked. If you use one or the other, one or the other. Uh, the other option here is milliseconds before restoring volume. Um, this is the amount of time that Ventrilo will wait before putting the volume of your system back to normal. Um, if you set this delay to a very long time, you will have a reduced volume when there's no talking or any activity going on. If you set this to too short, in a normal conversation you will hear uh, the volume go up and down and up and down and up and down um, because the client waits only you know, half a second and it takes the person a second to respond to you, you know, combination of lag and so forth. I found a, a second to be a pretty good duration. Uh, you may find that uh, a little bit higher or a little bit lower is good. Play around with the value. It's not set in stone or anything, so find what works for you. Um, once you have all these things set, uh, you, the last thing that you need to do is you need to configure Windows 7. So go here to where it says System Communication Panel. Now these four options um, just tell Windows or tell Windows what you want when you are. Um, communicating through Ventrilo or actually any other voice chat program such as Skype or voice chat with MSN Messenger. Um, you can either mute everything, you can reduce the volume by 80%, 50%, or nothing at all. Uh, doing nothing totally disables ducking, so it's sort of redundant to do this and then check that box. I found 50% to be good. Uh, play around with the setting again, it's not set in stone or anything. Once you have that uh, configured, click Apply and then go to the recording tab. This will list all of the uh, in audio inputs on your computer. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the input that you're using for Ventrilo is designated as your default communication device. Uh, the reason for this is if it is not the default communication device and you're using a different um, 
input than the one that you have set as the default. You will experience strange behavior such as the Ventrilo client actually not transmitting your voice at all once you've completed this tutorial. So in order to do that, all you have to do is right click on the um, on the device that you're use that you're using for Ventrilo and just click set as default communication device. If the one that you're already using is already set as your default communication device, you will not receive the option when you right click. So if you don't see it, don't panic, you're one step ahead of the game. Once you've set that as a default communication device, just click OK and click close. Click OK, click close, click OK, click close, and you are all set. Um, in order to test this, um, I'm going to have to join one of the chat channels. You may hear something that might not be entirely safe for work, so um, just fair warning. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start up my music player so that you can experience what ducking actually does for you. So let's play something. Oh, do, do, do. I know, we'll play some DJ Crush. Turn it down a little bit so I don't blow your speakers out. And then let's hop up one channel. Now in Again. Hey, Coddle, what's going on? I do Just grinding out so I get my uh, 4,000 honor points. I'm going to join you in a bit. By the way, say hi to everybody. You are being recorded for a tutorial video I'm doing. Awesome. Hello, everyone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up ducking in Ventral in Windows 7. Do notice that my music is actually going down as I'm transmitting and also as other people are transmitting to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. Leave comments in the comment section and you can private message me at my YouTube account.